We want to go beyond the moments of despair and take a deeper look at George Floyd's legacy. And in the days that followed his death, protests erupted in cities all over the country, including right here in Colorado. And those demonstrations went on for weeks. And it was the start of a movement. George Floyd's name became a rallying cry for police reform and racial justice. Denver 7 Sloan Dickey brings begins our coverage tonight, taking an in-depth look at the changes as Coloradans from all walks of life reflect on the last year. I think we have to view it in the way of transition, transformation. We've said their names, George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Dante Wright. As we begin to talk about what's happened nationally, we have to begin to talk about right here in Aurora and in our state. And Elijah McLean, Americans who died at the hands of police. Those are the individuals that are the true heroes in regards to why we are having a national discussion. Their death sparked a movement, a year of rallying cries that turned into conversations about race in America and police reform. Let me also acknowledge that we certainly have made mistakes. And I know people are critical of those protests, but at the same time, if those people didn't have their voice out there, Will we be having this conversation today? Aurora NAACP President Omar Montgomery says the concept of policing is what got us here. Let's begin to figure out what are the common themes in these investigations, and let's begin to make those changes immediately. He says he's seen successes over the last year. I think there's been some successes. I think um, when we began to look at some, some, some cities that had just totally transformed their police department. At least 40 states in the District of Columbia have already passed sweeping legislation to reform policing since George Floyd's death, including Colorado, which passed Senate Bill 217 that changed the standard as to when police can use deadly force and bans the use of a carotid hold. We saw students push their school districts to diversify curriculums, and we saw Coloradans unite, no matter the color of their skin. It definitely has been an opportunity for um, people who have not in, been involved with racial matters in the, in the past to take an active role in actively becoming anti-racist. The Arvadans for Social Justice organization was started after George Floyd was killed. And just like they've been doing for the last year, today they gather to continue their efforts. We're out here every afternoon for an hour to a couple of hours. Um, we now continue to um, be out here and have a presence once a month. The group was started to protest police brutality. Now the organizers are making real change as well. A positive direction like a co-responder team at the Arvada Fire Department that includes um, a mental health clinician and a paramedic and not a police officer. Positive change like a DEI task force. Positive changes have been made, but we still have a ways to go. And in order to move forward, Coloradans are still demanding justice. We still need to see justice for Elijah McClain. We need that case to be over with in order for us to truly to begin to talk about healing. Amid a year of grief and pain, a path forward for a brighter future. We need to get to a place where we can have trust. Black Lives Matter! Sloan Dickey, Denver 7.